Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your Christmas Princess Auto two week sale flyer. December 20th to the January 1st. Ooh, New Year's. 2023 and 2022. Man, holy smokes. Anyways, what do we got on sale for Christmas? This is probably going to be a pretty giant one. I actually didn't get this one in the mail, which is kind of weird. Let's just zip to the bottom here and see how many pages we're looking at here. Um, uh, looking like, hmm, oh, it's just a small flyer, okay, that's weird, I am on the right one, aren't I, price wrecker, national sale, yeah, looks like it, interesting, okay, well, let's have a look at her here, I don't think it's very long here by looks of things, but, uh, anyways, what do we got here, we got, uh, I've actually got one of these and it's a pretty good little uh, for forty dollars you get uh, not a whole pile of wire on them but you know they're not too bad and it comes with the case too and you know it's works pretty good you can I you can put them through here I guess I never did mine but I just leave most of them I haven't actually opened on mine I've only opened up uh, well there's one here I don't know if they're gonna go into uh, all the details of what's in here. You kind of think they might, but doesn't doesn't look like it. Primary wire frees the excess ten and ten to twenty two gauge wire. It's got uh, like some different stuff in it too. It's got some speaker wire. It's got some lamp cord wire, and it's got some uh, thermostat wire. You know, like the two little solid wires. I think it's. Uh, it's hard to tell from these pictures. That's the bigger... Th oh, there we go. There you can kind of see... There's like phone wire or something. Or, or Ethernet wire, maybe? Uh, I can't zoom down. Cell... Uh, something... I don't know what that is. Anyways, speaker. Yeah, speaker wire there. And then uh, different gauges of primary wire. Different thicknesses, of course. 20 gauge. Yeah, so I mean, it's a pretty good kit. This one doesn't seem to have. That's the something cord there. Um, I don't know. Anyways, good good little set. Pretty good for 40 bucks. Oof. Wow, good deal, actually. I'm going to have to go down and get another one just for the wire. Don't necessarily need the holder, but the wire. It's, whoa, wee. That's definitely a pretty good price. Anyways. Fully automatic battery charger, spray paint gun, a heater there. Ooh, wow, that's a good deal, too. Holy. Merry Christmas. See more info. It's only a six inch grinder, I think, though, but yeah, six inch bench grinder. My big one I've got in my other shop there is, is a 10 inch, and it's pretty good. It's been a good grinder, so. Uh, that's a pretty good price, really. 50 bucks. Holy smokes. Not too bad at all. Uh, where are we here? This one here. Nice little one log stove there for you. Keep your, uh, your, um, fish hut nice and warm, I guess. Trailer tire and a jack. Thirty-four millimeter axle nut socket. I've actually got one of those two. I've got it sitting right in front of me here. What is this one? It's a 30 millimeter, a little smaller. A little smaller, 30, 30 millimeter. Uh, socks. <laughs> furniture guards, I guess for the legs of your furniture so you don't scratch your floor all up. Can crusher, nice. Some cell phone holders and stuff. Power cables. Gaming headset. Wow, nine bucks. <laughs> I wonder how crappy those would be. <laughs> Some ads. Oh, I'm wasting pages on ads now, I guess. Oh, well, that's right. Exercise ball. Military vehicle metal build kit. Oh, I see. Oh, that's cool. A little like the canoe kind of set. Freedom log toys. Huh. Nice press there. Ooh, the torch kit. Victor Styles torch kit's on sale. That's all right. Welding cart and 
helmet. 55 bucks for a auto darkening welding helmet. That's pretty good. Wow. That's actually a really good price. Grinding discs and sanding discs and uh, wire wheels. That's kind of cool. An extra long reach one. Huh, I've never seen one of those before. 55 bucks. There you go. Wow, this stuff seems really good and cheap. I don't think I'd ever buy another one of their uh, impact guns, though, like I've said in the past, where they're just they're just not good. Unless they've changed them, but I, I doubt it. I think I I tried two or three of them in my years past, took them all back. <laughs> they're just like garbage. Stop working, you go to, you know, you pull the trigger, it's just like, shh, 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 like the thing inside's not right or something. It's, the specs probably aren't too good and nice in them, right? So they just, they're not good. But anyways. Oh, sure, now they put hoses on sale. Of course they do. Two-pack, too. So you get 50 foot for $30. Wow, that's really cheap for up here. Wow. Rubber air hose, too. I needed one, actually, for the back of my truck. It, um... Well, you can't really see on these because they put all these covers on them. But right where the little fitting, the little fitting joins onto the hose, it was starting to break and crack there. And you could move it around. It was psh, 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 psh. so I just uh, chopped the bad part off and then put in one of those joiner things and uh, hose clamped it on. It'll work for all I really use it. It's nice having air in a truck, though. You know, if you need it or you got to blow up a tire or someone else's tire or something, it's nice to be able to have it to help somebody else. Some nice spray guns and air pressure guns. Some more jacks. Video scope. Oh, sweet. That's enough, too, for that, though, really. Battery charger and some cables. That is cheap. Wow. I actually want to get a set of these sometimes, not for the wire, for the ends, because they usually have pretty good ends on it. And that's for my uh, fuel tank to... Uh, fill up tractors and stuff. I got a smaller set of them, and they're, nah, they start rusting and stuff, or these ones may not rust kind of so bad, right? But someday. That's pretty cheap, though. Wow. For 12 foot of this stuff? I mean, you could buy these, cut these ends off, and probably sell a wire back for 20 <laughs> to the scrap. You know, you'd probably get that much for the copper. You'd have to strip it off, though, which kind of sucks, but that's, that's really cheap when I think about that. 15 bucks. Six gauge. They're not that thick, though. The smaller you go, the... Wait a minute. 12 foot six gauge. Yeah, they're not that big. This is one gauge here on this stuff. And look at the difference. Oh, that's kind of a crappy picture. Anyways, I was hoping that picture might have come up. But anyways, keep it going. Nice buckets there for you. And what else do we got? Nut and screw kit. Nice screwdriver set. I still like my pick quick one, it's called, with the things in the handle, all the different heads in the handle. Oh, man. I don't know. It's so much nicer. Pliers. Icy grip pliers. 16 bucks. That's pretty good, too, for that. Wow. LED work light. Very nice. Some storage boxes and stuff. Little tiny storage box thingies. Oh, there's your uh, ice fishing hut. I don't know if you'd want to put a big uh, fireplace in something like one of these, though. Maybe not that much warm. <laughs> nice little motorbike ramp things. And they do sell these, I think, too. Something like that, anyways. Ooh, nice big LED light bar. 140 bucks. That's not bad. Some nice straps. Lifting toe straps. Ball hitch stuff. There's the little mini bike again with the, the ramp. Or the lift, sorry. There's to take it on the back of your truck. <laughs> Diesel engine oil. 15, 40, 80 bucks. Oof. Just, uh, I guess they got to meet certain criterias with this stuff, but eh, putting that in my truck, I'd be, eh, I don't know about that. Nice scrubber brushes. 12 bucks for that. That's 25 foot. Not bad. 
not bad at all. Solar motion light set. That's not bad, too, actually. What the heck is that? Refurbished L track massage chair, $1,700. I could go to my massage therapist for 17 times for an hour. <laughs> an hour each time is 100 bucks. So you could go 17 times or you could buy this chair that probably wouldn't do near as good of a job, we'll say. But anyways, okay. Well, I guess that's it for that one. I'm pretty sure that was it. Price wrecker. Let's look at the price wrecker here. December 1st to the 31st. I don't think we've looked at this one yet. We'll just look through it quickly here, I guess. Check her out. Jack. This is more stuff that they've got kind of on sale, I guess. More through the month rather than uh, every two weeks kind of thing. Some wingy nuts. Microwave cleaner. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Reusable plastic straws with cleaning brush. Ooh. Hangers. Toilet roll paper hanger, too. Popcorn cups. Bamboo charcoal bag. Oh, air purifier. Okay. Gotcha. I gotcha. Nail clippers. Clippers. Bazooka air horn. Oh, boy. <laughs> Oversized playing cards. There you go. Five bucks for a whole deck of cards. That's pretty good. Some, uh, looks like knives. Stay sharp. Copper knife. Interesting. Lighty bulbs. Power cables. Some surplus stuff here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Huh. More power cables. No. <laughs> oh, man. Two in one phone grip with kickstand. I guess you glue that right to the back of your case or something. Holy smokes, that 3M thing will probably never come off. More charging stuff. Ooh, air stuff. That's good. Battery testers. Little AA battery testers. 9 volts. Triple A's. Very nice. Ah, look at this. Bike horn. Uh, 1 into 2, I guess we'll call that. 2 into 1, depending on which way you go. Tool storage rack. Cleaning wipes. There's a 29 millimeter axle nut. There you go. Wow, that's cheap actually for that. I've read our Canadian tire. This would be probably about 28 bucks for one of theirs. You know, and it's probably just as good. I doubt there's much quality difference between them, but anyways. Drill bits. Grout tile. Grout saw blades. Oh, man. So I couldn't get that one out. Neat stuff. Adjustable compass. Bottle openers. Nerd dial gloves. Some barelings. That's all right. Trailer jack. Adjustable weight distribution hitch. Compact dry metal cut saw. Huh, I wonder how well that would work. Air riveter. $239 for an air riveter. Wow, that seems like a lot, doesn't it? To me, it does. Soda Blaster, two ninety nine. Some more air tools, hardwood floor nailers and stuff. Well, that's kind of cool. It's like a long reach impact gun. Huh, neat. 
There are some air hosies. Three eighths by fifty foot rubber arrows for forty bucks. I don't know. When I was down there looking at air hoses, when we were down there for some, man, they seem more expensive than that. Maybe I just wasn't looking in the right spot. I don't know. I was in the air hose area, but actually, it'd be better to have something like this mounted in the truck somewhere. I don't know how exactly I do that, but I'd have to somehow mount this to a piece of wood or something, I guess, and then mount the wood into the truck somehow. But that'd be all right. Air stuff, or air stuff, air tool conditioner. Hey, that's all right. Probably like an oily stuff. Some fittings, hitch mount stuff, portable tilting vehicle lift. Oh, cool. Fifteen hundred bucks. Man, that's a neat little kind of a jack, isn't it? Different. 310 SUV trolley jack. Price wrecker. Nice chop saw, compound miter saw. Some nice blades there. Fireplace blower. <laughs> Fireplace stuff, pails and shovels. Nice big heaters. Yeah, that's all right. Heater, heater, heater. We need those up here this time of year. That's for sure. It's cold out here. Digital torque wrench. I wonder how well they work and how accurate they would be. I don't know. I never tried one of them. Multifunction nail puller. I didn't even have a smasher back in her, back her in her, too. <laughs> that's all right. Ratchets, Navy work shirts. Hey, is that sort of like what I wear? Kind of, sort of. 30 bucks? That's about what I pay for them, I think, for my dicky ones. It's the ones I wear. They seem to be pretty good. All they're all made in China now. They used to be made in uh, Hanover, Ontario. All the dicky stuff come from Hanover, Ontario. All this kind of stuff. Shirts and pants and stuff. They had a big, big place up there, factory up there for a lot of years. A lot, a lot, a lot of years and a lot, a lot of years ago. They were making stuff up there, and I guess they sold it all out and moved it all to China, and now it's all done over there. Stupid, really, but anyways, a lot of jobs lost from that. There's a nice little RPM detector. Nice. Mousy traps, tube cutters. OBD2 code readers. Four or 350 bucks for that. Wow, really good. Only 450, 100 bucks off. Whoop. That's enough for that. Must be able to do some good functions. Door roller thingies. 100 bucks a piece for them. Wow. And the track, of course. 12 foot of track. Wow. You need to... Well, I guess for... It depends on how wide your door was. You'd only need, like, maybe two or three of these on a door. So, I mean, there's a bit of money there. Price wrecker. Price wrecker. Scotch guard. Bunch of miscellaneous -y things here. Foam weather stripping. Mr. Heater. Interior strip lights, nice. Simple straps. Hmm. Nice little crane for the back of your truck. Oh, look at all the switches and buttons and stuff. Nice. These things are kind of cool, these little fuse tap things. Some trailer winches and stuff. Cable winches. Or rope, I guess you could put on there too. More straps, snow blowers, and plows for your ATV. They look kind of chintzy for that kind of money. Mm, I don't know. Hydraulic oil. That's enough for that, too. Nuts and bolts. and st or These are shear pins, sorry. Shear pins for your blower augers. Not maybe these ones, but... Nice. Some pre big presses there. What are they up to now? 12 ton. Not too bad. 
foundry. They still have the foundries down there. Eight, seven hundred and fifty bucks. So holy cow. It's kind of neat though. Wouldn't it be neat to get one of those. I wonder what it actually all comes with. Does it come with like a crucible or anything? Doesn't really look like it, but fifteen hundred degrees. Requires a twenty to thirty pound propane cylinder. Of course it does. To heat it up. Plasma cutter replacement torch. There you go. Nice. Ooh, that's enough too. Holy smokes. There's a 40 ton shop press. I don't press enough stuff. I've got one of the 12 tons here. That's all I need, really. I hardly ever use it. Pretty neat surplusy stuff. What the heck is that? Slug fidget toy. Oh, man. That's funny. And I guess that's it for the price record, too. Well, that's it for your Princess Auto sale flyers. Uh, where were we here? National sale. This one from December 20th to January 1st of 2023. Oh, man. A new year starting, eh? But anyways, you guys have a good Christmas. This will be it for the Princess Auto for this year. And we'll see you next year for the next one, I guess, on the, probably the January 2nd area. Um, and we'll go from there. But anyways, thanks again for watching. You guys have yourselves a good Christmas, and we'll catch you all later.